welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be taking a look at part two of our Swiping the Seattle series. Today's topic will be the Arizona Coyotes. The Coyotes finished with a 24, 26, and 6 record, which placed them fifth in the Honda West Division. As rebuilders, the Arizona Coyotes will implement the draft strategy of protecting their young guys, as well as their leadership group. Coyotes forwards that are eligible for the 2021 expansion draft are as follows. Clayton Keller, Phil the Thrill Kessel, Nick Schmaltz, Christian Dvorak, Tyler Pitlick, Lawson Kraus, Johan Larson, Christian Fisher, Dryden Hunt, Blake Spears, Lane Pedersen, John Hayden, Christian Garland, Tyler Steenbergen, Freddie Gauthier, and Braden Burke. For the defensemen, players like Oliver Ekman Larson, Jacob Shikrin, Ilya Labushkin, Kyle Capobianco, Cam Deneen, and Dyson Mayo round out the defensemen list. Moving on to the goalies, Darcy Kemper and Aiden Hill are the two goalies that are eligible to be picked by Seattle. Notable name of Antti Ranta is not on the list due to him being a UFA. This is a big relief towards the Arizona Coyotes as they don't have to protect him and lose one of their star goalies. Now to protect the players. I believe that the Arizona Coyotes will use a 7-3-1 system in order to protect as many players as possible. To start off the list, we'll take out the obvious names. Clayton Keller. Phil Kessel, due to his non-movement clause, even if he didn't though, they'd probably still keep him due to his leadership ability. Nick Schmaltz and Christian Dvorak all name out the, the four key players in terms of their forwards. Their next item of business is to protect their young guys. Tyler Pitlick and Connor Garland are the next two guys that are kind of obvious in terms of their uh, expansion protection. Next up is Christian Fisher. I believe that Fish will be picked over Kraus and Larson due to his youngness and his potential over the other two. For the defenseman, Oliver Ekman Larson will most likely be picked. Him being the captain, as well as him having a non-moving clause, makes it very easy for the Arizona Coyotes to select him to be protected. Jacob Shikrin is another one that is guaranteed to be selected due to him being really young and being have really high potential. So we can, we can make sure he's protected. Ilya Labushkin would be the next pick, but unfortunately the Arizona Coyotes only have three defensemen that meet the criteria of that are being under contract for 2021 and have either played 40 games in the last season or 70 games in the last two. Because of this, the next pick would be Kyle Capio Blanco. He's the next big guy, and because Ilya Labushkin cannot be selected, he would be the next guy in line. Finally, the goalies. Aiden Hill versus Darcy Kemper. The pick is easy. It's Darcy Kemper. Why? Because Darcy Kemper will be their starter for the years to come. Aiden Hill will be a backup and always will be. Even with Antti Ranta coming back, if they choose to sign him, he will still be the backup. If Darcy Kemper is still, will still be the starter. Because of this, Darcy Kemper gets the nod for the protected slot. Now for the selections. I believe that the three most important players the Kraken will look at will be Lawson Kraus, Johan Larson, and Aiden Hill. Aiden Hill will most likely be the least likely person to be selected out of these three. Him being a backup and there being better goalies in the draft will make him less likely to be picked. Then it comes down to Lawson Kraus and Johan Larson. Kraus put up 13 points this year and, and Larson put up 14. Although this was the case, I still believe that Lawson Kraus has more room to develop and that's why I picked Lawson Kraus to be Seattle's second pick. And like this, Lawson Kraus will be the second player the Seattle Kraken will pick. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. If you liked it, drop a like. If you really liked it, consider subscribing. Drop a comment if you agree or disagree with me. And be on the lookout tomorrow for Swiping the Seattle Part 3 Boston Bruins Edition. Until next time, see ya.